Hi guys, I'm having a look at one of my hair dryer motors that doesn't work. I've taken it apart, so that's the housing or the shell. You can see the half moon magnets in there. That's the armature. And that's the front end with the brushes in it and the brushes look okay a little bit worn but I think what's happened here is I was rather over ambitious when I was trying to get the original um, it had a fan blade on the end of it and I think I was probably a bit um, a bit rough with it and I was trying to get the fan blade off because if we look here, I think we might be able to see it on here. Just there, that wire doesn't make contact with the commutator. And if I turn it a little bit more, that one doesn't. And if I turn it a little bit more, That one doesn't. That one does. And I think what happened was I was probably hitting it rather heavily, trying to drive it out. And this, um, I've forgotten what this bit's actually called. I'll call it the armature. I think that's slipped along the plastic body a bit, moved that way and stretched all the wires and broken them off because looking at this end there's clearly some indentations here where it's been pushed hard up on the inside of there so I don't know if it's fixable I don't know if I can try and push it back without causing even more damage to the windings. There's a good chance those windings are shorting out. I've, well, the only way I'll find out is to try and put some current through them. And I can't do that until I've connected those wires back up. So I might try and see if I can tap it back down so that the wires are at least long enough to reach the commutator and then I don't know whether I'll solder them or uh, try and squeeze them under the metal again because it looks like they're a push fit there's a bit of a sort of a copper flap just there so don't know that's what I'm going to try and do though. I think I'll try and gently tap it back along the plastic, um, the centre bit, so we can get it closer and then see if we can get it back together. No idea if it'll work, but that's what I'm going to try and do. Right. So I've pushed it back down so the wires are closer and I hopefully I've got some solder onto them. Just hope that doesn't foul on everything else inside the motor. So I'll put it back together and see what happens. I'm spreading the brushes using a couple of barbecue skewers so that I should be able to get the commutator in between. When I've pushed it back together I'll put a bit of paper on the shaft Are we ready? Hey, success. No idea if that's 
all the windings. I may only be firing on three cylinders for all I know. But it looks like we fixed it. Ooh, it's got the torque there, so we might be lucky. We might have all of them working. That's just four and a half volts on there. Let's try it with nine volts. If I can get the other connector. Oh, that's great. Success. I like these um, motors out of the hair dryers. They're just that bit better than the ones I normally get. I know, I know some of them have got Mabuchi written on them. This one hasn't got anything written on it. Nothing that I can see anyway. Oh, how about there? Con Air. <laughs> oh well, a success. I'm pleased with that. I didn't actually show you how I took it apart, did I? It has little metal tags bent over just here. It's a bit stiffer than I can push back by hand. Yeah, I'll have to get a hammer and tap those little tags back over. They go into the little slots just there. And that holds it in place. This one had a bit of wire from there that goes onto the casing. So the casing is... Uh, what should that be? Negative or positive? They usually have the little tag there to indicate the positive side. And then a couple of capacitors across it um, to reduce the interference, I guess. So there we go. Job done.